YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to download mods for Euro Truck Simulator 2. First of all, there are two methods where you can download mods. Either you could use an online website such as these two, or you could use the Steam Workshop method, which is really easy. But the thing is, many people really don't play on the Steam version of the game, so they might not be able to use this method. So first of all, I, I'll show the other method first. So two great websites I recommend are ets2downloads.com and ets2.lt. The links will be in the description for these two websites. So these websites I recommend because they are frequently updated and they have a wide variety of mods. So before you actually look for a mod, you should um, always update your um, game to the latest version because mods really don't support the old versions. So what you want to do is choose a mod and then scroll down to where it says download the mod. You have to click download and also you should have um, WinRAR or 7-zip or anything like that on your computer so you could actually get the SES version of the file. So what you have to do is click free download because um, the website um, redirected you to share mods or any other um, place where you could uh, um, upload a file. So click download file it again and this will show up but this is nothing so you can just X this out. So what you really need is this tiny file right here. You have to click this and then it should open in WinRAR or you could set it to open in WinRAR. So the main file that you need is Nissan Skyline GTR R34. That's SES. If it's not an SES, then you don't have the right file. So what you want to do is just drag it to the desktop, and then what you have to do is op um, open this up, and then go to Documents, and your truck simulator should be there. All you have to do is go in the mod file, and then uh, then what you should do is make this smaller, and then just drag that there. And then now the mod's in your game, all you have to do is exit out and it might refresh and then you just have to go you just have to go in the game and it should download. So now I'll show you the um other uh website version because sometimes the di ways to download are different. And also, just letting you know, I don't have any ads on my um computer because I'm using adblock and that really helps a lot. So for this um website what you have to do is scroll down underneath all the descriptions and right on top of the videos, right here there's going to be a download button right here and it should say how big the file is. So all I have to do is hit download and it'll redirect you to a website again and just click free download and then download file again. Like again this is nothing. And what you have to do is wait for this file. And as you can see this is in 7z fi uh, format so you might need a set, uh, different um, program for this. So you, you, should, uh, you should have both programs on your computer. 7zip and WinRAR. But I don't have 7zip right now because I usually don't use that and that most files aren't in 7-zip format. So you have to do this like that out and do the same method that you did for the other mod. So now the Steam Workshop version, which is really easy. What you have to do is if you want to get a mod, just click Browse the Workshop and everyone should everyone probably knows this method. Then just like you know, look for a mod most popular, I don't know. Um hmm. just pick some random mod that you see. Uh, I'll just pick um this one right here. So what you have to do is just click subscribe and it should download the mod or you can just go back here and just look for a mod and hit this button this plus button right here and it'll just download it for you. So you click that and then, then that tiny check comes up and that means that you're subscribed and all you have to do is go in the game, open up the mod um mod in place and then it should show the mod there. And now we'll show you what it looks like when you actually go in the game and how to activate the mod. So activating the mod is really simple. All you have to do is launch the game as you n normally would. And then all you have to do is go to mod manager for the profile where you want the mod. Scroll down and until where you find the mod. And mine would be at, um, it would usually be at all at the bottom, but sometimes it depends as, um, the, uh, alphabetical order. So what you have to do is click the mod and then click this arrow right here, and then it should go go to active mods. Uh, then what you have to do is confirm changes, and now the mod's in the game. So now you could um uh, buy the truck, buy the car, do whatever you want. Um, you could put the accessories in your car, whatever whatever mod you really did. So thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos of mods, and see you in the next video.